Hi everyone, I'm Jim White. Uh, in this video, we're going to answer the age-old question, uh, what's the current distribution around a magnetic loop antenna? Uh, it's pretty well known that for a uh, standard dipole antenna, the current is highest near the feed point and is reduced to zero as we go out towards the end of the antenna. The question here is, is the current at the feed point here the same as up here? Does it change as we go around this magnetic loop antenna? Well, in my last video, we uh, made this device for measuring RF current. Uh, I showed you how to make an RF current transformer and a meter to read that current and uh, that video is linked below and then uh, in a video uh, part two of quest for the best mag magnetic loop I demonstrated proximity effects when you get near a magnetic loop and uh, so we don't have proximity effects I came up with this little handle so I don't have to get very close to the magnetic loop and uh, I made it so this current transformer can swivel so we can go around the loop and keep the meter in a vertical position so uh, Let's uh, go out to uh, my magnetic loop in another building and uh, we'll do a demonstration. Okay, here's a uh, mag loop. Uh, it's made with a quarter inch diameter copper tubing and I have an oversized drive loop so that I can just put it at an angle for whichever band we're going to work on. And our current transformer has been fitted around the copper tubing. And there's our meter. And over here we have a transceiver and I've set the uh, output power to 20 watts. So I'm going to uh, turn on a carrier. And previously I adjusted the meter for full scale. Okay, here we are on uh, 15 meters. I've set the uh, meter for full scale. And we'll start around. And it's decreasing quite a bit here. Decreasing more. Decreasing more. And it's almost uh, half of its original reading. Okay, let's see what happens on uh, 10 meters. Okay, now we're going to uh, turn on power for 10 meters. and adjust for full scale. And then move along the loop. And we can see it's decreasing already. It's 
but there it sort of went back up at one point. It's very hard to hold this meter level in two different axes. There it does go back up. So, some strange things do seem to go on, but in general I think we can make a statement here. Well, we didn't have the best possible setup for that test. Uh, right behind the green screen was a concrete block wall and the loop was only mounted about three feet above a concrete floor and I was standing roughly three feet in front of the loop. So uh, we probably had some proximity effects that affected the test a, l a little bit at least. But that uh, loop was three feet in diameter so that's a circumference of 9.4 feet so it's roughly 4.7 feet from the bottom up to the capacitor. Now if we look at a uh, dipole antenna, uh, the, well the three bands that we looked at were 20 meters, 15, and 10. And a dipole, a dipole antenna for 10 meters would be 8 feet long in each direction. And for 15 meters, it would be 11 feet on each side. And for 20 meters, it would be 16 feet on each side. And the usual way of showing current distribution on a dipole is to just show it like this. And uh, the current is maximum at the feed point and tapers to zero at the end of the dipole. So, we were 4.71 feet around here, so that's as so though we moved from the center out to here. And uh, you can see at, at 20 meters, uh, there would be almost no change in the current. And uh, for 15 meters, uh, we would see a, a change in current over that length. And for 10 meters, uh, we would see even more change in the current. So all this uh, makes sense. Uh, for <clears throat> other bands, 30 meters and 40 meters, now our current's looking like that. Again, there's almost no change at that short a distance. So uh, I think we've uh, gotten the results that uh, kind of make sense. If uh, you got anything out of that video, uh, you could help me by clicking that uh, like button. And if you don't want to miss the uh, next video, be sure and subscribe. And in the meantime, you could watch these two videos.